What's going on YouTube? This is Deadly Brit aka Gothic Shrimp and this video is a quick, not tutorial, but just walkthrough and some opinions on all three classes, the buffs and other things like that. Okay, so to start off I will go into dress up and I will go to warrior. Okay, so my warrior is pretty good. It's uh, it's pretty good, I think. I've got a level 14 platinum knife, and my weight cap is only 33 at the moment, so I can't equip everything that I want. I have a, as you can see there, level 12 shield of kings, which is pretty beast. Uh, 1359 guard power and 1370 anti magic guard. Okay, now preferences for Warrior, for me anyway, are, well, I can't find an attack white 3, but basically I go for Smash Effect, Lightning Enchant, and Ambush 3. I did literally, about 5 minutes ago, change the Ambush 3, because I had a white Warrior Slayer, and it was kind of hard to decide, but yeah, I went for the Ambush, because... Smash effect, when you use smash effect and you knock them into the air, that counts as ambush. So yeah, you can do a lot more damage than having warrior. And of course warrior only works against another warrior. So yeah, as you can see here, I do have a lot of uh, weapons. I just don't have the stars to level them up. Um, yeah, I've got one, two, three, four of the eagle swords. So yeah pretty good. Got a lot here. I just uh, haven't got the money to level them up, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, once I've got the weight cap up, I'll be going with the Shield of Kings. Um, Golden Eagle Shield looks good, but its defences aren't as good. Same as the Mad Bull Shield. Um, Storm Armour. Mobility 6 is essential. Um, depending on what you want to do uh, you know if you want to get in there if you're a proper battle warrior and you want to get in there and you want to do it straight up and fight then mobility six if you're a rush warrior and you want to take down the castle gate then you put anti-material on your um, as a berserker probably uh, anti-material on your two weapons this is my berserker setup as I said, the weight cap isn't high enough to equip what I really want, so I've gone for Rush on my level 13 Maramas Katana, and Charge Attack and Smash Power 2 on a hardwood stick. <laughs> level, uh, level 1, weight 6, so yeah, not the best, but that's all I can do at the moment. Um, group Rush Plus for my Berserker class. Uh, for the helmet, I've gone for the fighter's helmet because it has the highest defense. Um, level 11 there, so max HP 5, HP recovery 3. Pretty based on that one. Um, Paladin's helmet is probably the best for the uh, for the Berserker class because of the AP recovery. So I've got experience up there and max AP 3 as well, empty slot. For accessories, I haven't picked anything for the uh, for the warrior. So, but when I will, when I have got the weight cap, I'll be probably put on either the raging baby or something else. I don't know. Haven't quite figured that one out yet. Okay, so I will go on to cleric and the cleric okay depending on what you want to do again so if you want to you can have res cleric you can have um, cannon cleric if you want to go cannon cleric then obviously anti-material um, cannon accuracy cannon shots up things like that so that's probably what you'd want um, I've got the angelic cloak I've only gone for mobility 3 because that's all you really need. Mobility 6 is good, but it's not it's not essential. Um, Sacred Song to start off with, buff everyone up, help your team. Um, again, the weight cap is what 
is really messing me up at the minute. But I've got I've got everything I basically need for when my weight cap is up there. So yeah. Two great spirits helmets, a art hat of the archbishop, and at the minute I'm using this because cannon accuracy and dash. Um and my mage, my favourite class. Okay, so level 13 Dark Wings, Warrior Slayer, Fire Enchant Effect. Now I always had um, Fire Enchant Effect, but um, you're using up a slot there. So my advice would be try to use all three of the um, elements. Um, snow, fire, um, electric, oh sorry, four, and wind as well. Um, fairy robe, so I've gone for mobility three, magic five, and defense three. Uh, nightmare hat, that's that right there, that's the best setup in my opinion. AP recovery three, AP recovery two, so that's five, and then max HP three, and AP, max AP three up, sorry. This Ratman head's quite funny, but you don't want HP recovery. Not not for a mage. So, yeah. And I've got conserve AP 6, respawn 3. Now, since the update, um, the conserve AP 3 is obviously helps, but um, they've totally nerfed the mage. And I didn't play for a while afterwards because I was so annoyed that they'd done that. Um, extremely annoyed actually. <laughs> After all the money I've spent, I've spent a lot of money on this game, so yeah. Um, my Golden Wings is looking pretty beast at the minute. That's doing nearly 1500 with Mage Slayer, and if I scroll down, I still have two left. So I can make a level 15 Golden, uh, golden Wings if I want, I just don't have the money yet. So yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to save them settings and back out and I'm going to show you Okay, where is it? Where is it? Uh, help and options. Okay, a lot of people don't know this. Help and options. It, it does help if you actually go into this. Like say for instance items like here. It shows you exactly what it does. It's kind of very helpful. Um, attack up, attack down, magic attack, magic attack down, um, defense. So it tells you, and it tells you what all these new buffs do as well. Um, for my warrior, I am a 1v1 um, combat warrior, so that is set up specifically for taking people on, not running away and, and things like that. So. Um, mage is with the mage. You've got to be, you know, pretty sneaky. Um, that's why. I mean, at the minute, as you can see, I don't have um, a suit on because of the my weight cap. But I would much rather the conserve six and the AP recovery than mobility three. But I see this as a good practice because I've been doing really well, but with no mobility at all. So when I finally do, uh, well, well, when I finally am able to put this on, I'll be, uh, it'll be really good, um, and I'll be even better. So, yeah. Um, as far as two classes go, like cleric type, cleric type two, I don't go for that. I, I never usually make it. A second of anything apart from the warrior and the berserker that's my berserker so yeah the hardwood stick uh, I laugh every time I say that right yeah so it's pretty good um, pretty good setup as far as buffs go um, if anyone has any questions about buffs what preferred setup again it's personal preference it depends on what type of player you are for what class if you're um, if you just want to go in there and take people on as a warrior then you know you 
can't really get much better than that. You want mobility 6, as I said. You want a good um, anti-magic guard and guard power, which I do have, but can't equip. Um, I'm still after a white attack 3 for my warrior. Um, yeah, so ambush attack, lightning enchant, and attack 3, because that will add an extra... Um, that will add an extra 80 to that attack. Um, and then obviously I've got room for one more Platinum Knife. So yeah, um, as far as helmets go, I would go for the Fighter's Helmet because it does the most defense. The Special Forces Helmet is good, but the more slots you have, the less, uh, the less powerful or the less uh, defense an item does. So that's why the Berserker's Axe is the most powerful because there is only two slots. So yeah, <clears throat> so as I said, any any questions um, on buffs or anything like that, then give us a shout. Um, don't forget to uh, rate and subscribe, and yeah, and I'll see you again.